I'm gonna show you my top eight favorite home automations that I have around the house. Things with contact sensors, motion sensors, temperature sensors, and I wanna show you four of my favorite HomeKit buttons like this one from 2.0 that's now Matter supported and Thread. And if I click it once, I can be ready to film here in the studio in about 30 seconds. Runs a HomeKit scene, the shades lower, the hue lights all change a certain color, and now let me show you some of my favorite automations. All right, first let me show you an automation that happens whenever I open my studio door in the morning. I only have this active between work hours, and when I open it, the contact sensor senses the door is opened, turns on my ceiling fan light and fan, and opens the shade so I'm ready to work. This is all because of a contact sensor I have at the bottom of the door. This is Akara's new matter sensor. It's this big cylinder right here, and this is the other one. And yes, I literally have this sensor mounted on top of another Akara sensor, but it helps because this door is really deep, and so this contact sensor actually reaches and runs by automation. Now, once I'm in the studio, I have multiple HomeKit buttons that I use to control scenes for filming. Like I mentioned, this 2.0 button is matter enabled. It doesn't require a hub, so all you need is this, and it pairs directly in HomeKit. One click, and I'm ready to record. So one press turns on all my filming lights, turns on my key light, and it closed the shades. Plus it sets a color scene that I have prepared. Now I can change the color with Siri or just run a different scene. And then when I'm done recording, I can use the same button, which you can trigger a double tap and a long press. That'll actually run my done recording scene and turns the ceiling fan light back on, filming lights off and raises the blinds. Now I also have a button here from Akara. The Akara button does require a hub, so it's not thread. Akara hubs are pretty inexpensive. I'll put links in the video description, but this one is actually my done working for the day scene. So if I double tap this, It'll actually shut off the light, close the blinds. So this way when I'm done working, I know everything is shut down. Now here I am in the master bedroom and I have another HomeKit button. This one is from Eve. Again, no hub is required and I had this one set for a good night scene. So one press on the Eve button, all the lights in the master bedroom turn off and actually all over the house turn off. And pressing that button runs the good night scene which also has ocean sounds playing on this HomePod mini. All right, this next automation is actually when an accessory is controlled. You can set this up in the Home app and here I have multiple switches for the bathroom, both vanity lights, fan, and shower lights. Plus there's a master closet light switch behind these towels and lights for the toilet room. But here I have when an accessory is controlled, meaning the main vanity light button. When that shuts off, everything in the bathroom shuts off, all the lights together. So when I press this button, the entire bathroom goes dark. You only have to hit one button to turn off all the lights. This next automation is based on a motion sensor. So when I open the pantry door here in the kitchen, you'll see the light automatically turns on. Yep, there's a lot of stuff in here. But this is the Hue motion sensor. It's one of the fastest responding motion sensors. And it's a real simple automation. When motion detected, the light turns on. And then you can actually schedule it to turn off after a certain amount of minutes, like five or 10. The reason why I don't use a contact sensor is sometimes the door might not be closed all the way, but you still want the light to turn on when you walk in. Also here in the main living room, I use another HomeKit button. This one is by Flick. It is pretty fast to respond, but requires a hub. You can connect it to ethernet for even better responsiveness put one click and it will turn on all the lights here in the living room, two clicks and it turns all of them off. Oh, it also lowers the shades. If you wanna see my review on the Smart Wings HomeKit shades, you can check it out above or the links in the description. Now outside here on the patio, I have a bunch of automations, some of them motion related, some of them temperature related. I have an Eve weather out here and I have a contact sensor on a mini fridge. Of course, everything you can control with Siri like these patio fans. So I could say, hey, turn on patio fans and you'll see those start up. Now I have a couple automations out here. I have another flick button on this end table. And when I click this button, it will actually turn on the pool lights. So in the evening, you can see the color LEDs and it actually starts playing some music on the Sonos speakers I have here on the patio. Here you can see the pool light is now on and it also turns on that Eve flare, which is also thread enabled. That's a second generation version. And now it's ready for a nice evening. It can turn on the Sonos speakers, including the Sonos Move and a pair of Sonos One SLs. Another automation I have out here is actually the Eve weather. This Eve weather, whenever the temperature gets above 80 degrees here outside, it will turn on the patio fans automatically. So if it's a really hot day, these should already be on by the time I come out on the patio. And then there's another automation that turns them off at 6 p.m. every day. And one other automation, and this is based on a contact sensor. Here's the Akara contact sensor. And the reason why I used Akara is because in the Akara app, you can actually program a warning when a door has been opened for a certain amount of minutes. If it's been left open for five minutes or even one minute, you'll get a notification. So if this mini fridge is left open for one minute or more, I'll get a notification on my iPhone letting me know it's been open. 
I wish you could do this directly in the home app, but for right now you can do it with a car and that's why I have their contact sensor. And finally, one of my favorite automations is transforming our family room into a home theater. I have a Philips Hue button, which is another button that works directly in HomeKit. One press and it runs our movie scene. You can see the Hue lights turn on behind the TV, ceiling fan and main lights turn off up there. But you can still see our Star Wars poster. Now running this from the Hue button is pretty cool, but I also have a shortcuts automation where if I run a shortcut on my iPhone, it will run the scene, plus it'll start the Hue sync box, light syncing, and open the Apple TV remote on my iPhone so it's already ready to control this Apple TV. You can check out that full automation and a bunch more from Shane Watley's video where he put together a bunch of automations from HomeKit creators all over YouTube. You can check that out at the link above or in the description. And now we're back here in the studio. Those are my favorite HomeKit automations that I have in my house. I'd love to hear what automations that you love and maybe are some unique outside, maybe fences. Leave a comment below this video. Tell me about your home automation and then subscribe to the channel. There's lots of videos, including my favorite outdoor HomeKit devices. There's a full review of the SmartWings shades that are thread enabled and work directly in HomeKit without a hub. You can check that out above or the link in the description. And if you want a full tour of my entire Apple Home HomeKit house, you can check that video out right now.